Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and today we are continuing with Pokemon Snap, or new Pokemon Snap. So last time, we gained the ability to make any Pokemon an Illumina Pokemon, basically. Well, not like the big Meganium, but, you know, we can make them glow. Yeah. So now we need to try and build up some points until something else happens. So let's backtrack a bit. Yeah, so I'm thinking, because I missed out on a lot on this one, but I think we're going to go back here, because I haven't come here with the glowy thing yet, so we're going to go to the ju nighttime jungle with the glowy thing and see if we can't get some Pokemon glowing. See, we have the apple, like, in the old snap, but we don't have the thing that, like, pisses them off on purpose. So I'm just wondering if it's up at that. So let's see, the world should have changed just a little bit. Let's see, can we make a... So we can make all these Morlulls glow, which is kind of cool. Oh, there's a light part up there. Oh, hey, wait, Yonrega. Can I make the on mega glow? Bet I can. That's a nice good yon mega picture. Okay, keep an eye out. You can have a glowing life heart and a mortal. Okay. Life heart's not really one I'm too worried about, so. And apparently if I hit the crystal bloom flowers, what what was that? Something's making some noise. Oh, Leafeon! Hey! Turn your butt! Look at me! Son of a bitch. Well, at least I got a picture of it. Too bad it was looking away from me, though. Another Lipard. Glowy Lipard? Glow. So much glow. Oh, there's like four more lols now. There you go. Sleepy Lipards. What else we got? And more walls and an Aritos? Why is it wait, why is it doing question mark? I know what that is. Friggin' Aritos. That's a hundred percent Aritos. Like I'm not mm. If I could have triggered whatever event that was meant to be, that would have been nice. Okay, ancient ruins. Can I make the ruins blow? Hey, there's more two cans. Will the two cans respond if I hit him with this thing? Oh, there's a picky pack. Okay. So, not too much different here, but like I said, it's all its all about getting points. Oh, there we go. Oh, really? Make them both glow. What if I throw an apple down there? Oh, nice. Wow, you're looking... Oh, wait. Oh, there's also picky pegs. Where? Oh, I have to knock Lifeheart out the way and then I can go. Oh, okay. Hey, it's another Leafeon. Hey. Damn it. Little shit. What 
What do we got in here? What is it? Magic carp. Damn it. Alright, well I got the Quagsire. Is there anything else I can get last minute? Wait, leave me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Come at me, bro. Aw, oh, you little bastard. Alright. I can get a better picture of Quagsire. Wake up. Okay, I'm gonna get his butt. <laughs> yeah, so there's a way to come through the water. Okay, so I need to come back here. I need to come back here and uh, make that light part move. So there's a hidden path behind that waterfall that leads to more stuff. But I, it's so this game does have some hidden track. I don't know if it's a hidden location, but it's at least a, it's a way to get more photos probably. Welcome back. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually been in Jungle Night with the Lumina Ball, so. Um, I don't have a two-star Moral Oil yet, so I'll take that one. Yon Mega. This one's more centered, and I got him with the Lumina Ball. That last light part was really good. But it's only, wow, these are all really only one stars? Like, this is dead center with the Morlol and the Pinkie Pegs. So, let's do that one. Leafeon. I got Leafeon's butt. This one's probably my better one. Ariados. That is Ariados. Um, let's see. These are apparently all three-star poses of him sleeping. So, let's I have just any of those, I guess. Two Cannon. I got more of its face. Pinkie Peg. Picky pack in the nest. Magic carp. Can't really see him in that. Um, in the ancient ruins. Okay. Okay. So let's see how we did. So I hope everyone's doing good today, staying healthy and safe. So this more is better because it's like a two star, so it'll get yeah good points. I'll have to come back through and try and get that light part to move out the way. Not bad. Work. Yeah, this is probably... Well, it's really not much better, really. Alright. Well, that light part's been not meant to be there. I need to knock it out the way. A new discovery. Sweet. Great timing. First Leafeon picture, and it's a three-star. That's good. Mm, nice work. You can't really see the Pokemon, but... Yeah. It's points. Nice work. Yeah, the, old, the other one's better. Two cannons. Nice work. We'll keep the new picture. Nice work. Picky pack. Not much better than the other one. Match bar. Great timing. It, wow, it's yeah, it's not even much better than the other one. I guess it doesn't really matter on this one. Sure. Okay. Oh, I got no new points? Oh, no, there we go. Let's see. Okay, are you, oh, are you, am I gonna get the uh, pester ball thing so I can start actually, like, antagonizing the Pokemon? Because if that's the case, I need to go to the jungle of day on the first, the first level because then I can get the slacking. Cutscene. <laughs> All right, on to the next site. Oh, a new no, cool. We get to go check out more places. Sweet. Now then, we got new islands to explore. Oh, we got two new locations. Look, we get the Volku Volkua. So we get a, a hot area. That's great. You mind? Okay. Alright, cool. We get to try out a couple new areas today. Well, shit. Let's do it. 
What's up? Actually. What's this? What? Melody player lets your camera play a little tune. Mm-hmm. A little music can prompt Pokemon to show you a whole new sides of themselves. Wow. Rita. Oh, okay, so now I can backtrack more. Excuse me. So slacking. Okay, so instead of the pester ball, I have this. Okay, so if I go somewhere at night where Pokemon are sleeping, I play the music, and okay. Gotcha. Well, let's go check out a new area. Let's go to the volcano first. Or wait, sands. Okay, desert. Okay, we get to go to the desert. Oh right. So we're gonna see some like desert dwelling Pokemon this time. Alrighty. That'll be interesting. Why well, let's see what the desert gives us. I'm liking that they're not showing too many Gen 1 Pokemon. There's like a few here and there. Oh, wow, right off the bat, huh? Sand, sand, and more sand. Seems like a gritty environment. Oh, I don't have the uh, Lumina thing. Wait, th is that a... I imagine Pokemon live differently here than on the other island. Oh, I see that Heliolisk up there. What's up, bud? Get you some food. Awesome. Nice. Oh, Cacmia? Nice. Got a Cacmia. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, you poor little bastard! I'm assuming the tornado, right? Oh, no, not the tornado. Oh, crystal bloom. And the, oh, and a tornado, okay. I'm assuming there's a Pokemon making that sandstorm. Also, I'm missing out on this, uh, Volt Van... the Mandibuzz right here. There we go. Alright, the desert so far got a couple interesting things. It's funny that Heliolisk is here, because... oh, shit. Oh, well, hello. Oh, Hippowdon! What up, bro? I actually like Hippowdon. Design-wise, I actually really like it. Oh, there's Torchic. Hey, Torchic. Hey, Torchic. You want some food? Oh, he he cooked it. Oh, really? Oh, I knocked him over. <laughs> More cacnias. What up, Pat on? Hey, go ahead and eat up, bro. Does eating make you spread out sand or something? He's definitely excited. Uh, let's see, let's not look away, let's not look too far from it. Oh, can I have scanned over here? There's a mandibuzz up there. Some scannable here. What? Oh. Oh, there's a Pokemon in there. Wait, is that another Vivalin? It is Vivalin, okay. I'm guessing now that I've scanned these, I can... Uh, what you call it? Make them glow. All right, ooh. Hang on. We're scanning the pits. Something buried in the sand. Well, how do I get it out of there? Oh, I see that pincer. 
Hey, Pinter. Yeah, Pinter's design makes me think of an antlion. That is, that's a good point. Any, any last minute Pokemon I can get? Nope. Okay, so the sand area is kind of cool. We'll go check out the beach next. If I don't, if I get enough points to get nighttime desert, then I'll do nighttime desert. But if not, then I'll go to the beach. I think we got a lot of good shots though. Yeah, let's 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 check this out. That that uh Hippodon scene was kind of this poor little bastard though. Problem is he's barely in the photo. Like it's almost not worth it, even though it's a four star photo. It's it's barely worth it. I would need to get him more centered to make it more worthwhile. So I'll try that one again. For now, we can just get a basic score UB. We got a couple good Heliolisks. Um, this one's pretty good. Cacnea. We got the Cacnea rolling better. Pinsir. I don't have a 3 star or a 1 star Pinsir yet, so we'll get the 3 star. Mandibuzz. We got Mandibuzz coming like right at me at some point. So yeah, there we go. Hippowdon, we got a couple good Hippowdons. Um, we'll start with a one star and then go from there. Porchic. Um, this one is charring the food, which is nice. Vivalin. Oh, I didn't get any really good these centered ones, but that's fine. We got a crystal bloom. Oh, they're not doing a thing, so. Yeah. Alright, good enough. Yeah, it won't. we won't get the pictures of them unless we catch them, like, in the middle of something. Alright, let's have a look. Scroopy. We got a new Pokemon. Alright. Not too bad for our first Scroopy. I'm assuming Drapion's in the desert somewhere. Heliolisk. Nice work. Not bad. Cacnea. A new discovery. Nice work. See, that's a three-star Cacnea we got. Mm. This is a three-star Pinsir, which is good. Ooh, gold, too. That's good points. So Pokemon Snap, like I said, it works like this. Discovery. You basically keep do getting points, and as you keep getting points, you eventually get more and more of the game. Nice work. That's all it is. And then eventually you get to like some kind of ending with it after you've taken enough po pictures. A new discovery. Hot on. Nice work. Nice. That's a good first hip out on picture. And this one's got hip out on in the background, so this is gonna actually get me a lot of points. Yeah. Well, not a lot, but a good chunk. Nice work. Oh, this is better than my original Vivalon. All right, I'll well, take it. Okay. I'm surprised there wasn't trap inch in those sand pits, by the way. That's like, it's weird to see a pincer. Oh, I didn't get past Reacher's level 2. Alright. Um. So, I did get a couple photos that I didn't use. So, let's. I think. I'm trying to think what's a good picture from the. I want to keep at least maybe one of these. I need like the Hippodon in the desert or something. Hmm. What does Resnap do? Okay. Cacnea. No. Was anything in the desert really worth getting pictures of? Not really. Um. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to think of a good picture to keep here. Yeah, let's keep like, uh, let's keep like a couple of these Hippodons. Yeah, save. And save this one. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, turn the camp. So there's more I can do in the desert. 
But I'm guessing we're not doing anything more yet in the desert. Unless he's telling me I get the Illumina Balls for it. Because then I can go back with the Illumina Balls and start doing some stuff there. Thanks. Research on the Maricopa Islands awaits. Alright, so let's go to the... Now let's go to the beach. Hi. Yeah, so we tried out the desert, so let's try the beach. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that the bird is the word? Alright. The Pokemon should look as big as possible and be right in the center of the frame. Well, no kidding. I could have told you that. Ooh, Executor. Oh, are we going to see a Lolan Executor? That's going to be a hard Pokemon to get a picture of. That tall son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, there's a Crab Brawler right here. Hey, bud. What a warm and relaxing place. Wow, he went right for it. I think you're in for some fun photo sessions here. What up, dude? Wow, he that one's easy. Kind of funny seeing Xavier eat plants. Hey, Blossoms, wait. No, get back here. You little bastards. Hey, there's a Pikachu. Pikachu don't seem to care about the music. Wait, what's that on the beach? I wonder if there's a way to get the crab brawlers to box. Got Wingle. Will you dance? I figure Blossom's dance. Yeah, Blossom's would be dancing. Aw, see, Blossom is really cute. It's an, It was a nice addition in Gen 2. Oh, yeah, there's, there's an executor here just uh, blocking up the road here. Hey, bud. I got... I was wondering why I wasn't moving for a second there. Thank you, sir. Oh, there's another pavilion. Hey, Pukumuku, I saw that over there. Wait, what's under the water? Some Magikarps? No, those those weren't Magikarps, those were something else. Come on, get up there. Oh, what the hell? Oh! Did I just alter my course? Hold up. I altered my course. My champ! What are you doing out here, bud? Working on your beach bot? Hey, Stunfisk. I actually like Stunfisk, too. It's got an interesting design. Yo, my champ. Like some tunes? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Hey, you want some food? Ah, look at him. Oh, wait, wait, I need to scan. Scan, scan, scan. Scan? Uh, shit. Uh. Hey, artillery. Hey, bud. Oh. I think I missed something. Obviously. Okay, ooh, we're on the big ocean. We're, come on, there's gotta be like a big ocean Pokemon just chilling right here. More Stunfisk. There's Pikachu over there. Wait, that I know that I know what the shovel is. Pikachu, come get this thing. Pikachu! You son of a bitch, I know what that shovel is. That's that mound of sand is a fucking sandy gas. Damn it! <laughs> I knew it! There's a sandy gas right there. I think you gotta get Pikachu to play with the shovel. Yeah, these are all possibly Sandy Gas. One of these is Sandy Gas. What the hell? There's berries all over the ground. Oh, this is a pretty good stunt fist. 
Alright, I got him all pissed off. There's another Xavier. So I'm, I think I missed, so the water level, you can alter your course a bit. That's kind of cool. So I missed out on the Pukumuku's better shot, but I got a couple other things instead. And I missed out on what I'm guessing is a Santa gas. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. Okay, Crab Brawler. We got a couple good Crab Brawlers. Oh, God, not, not really. Uh, this one, I guess. Executor, Executor basically gave it to me big time. Um... We got two different Blossom occasions. This is probably the better one. Pikachu. Wingle. We got Wingle barely. Pukamukus. Yeah, there's the Pukamukus. I didn't go the proper way for the Pukamukus, so. But I did get my champ. But he, he's doing this. He's like, what's up, bro? Okay, I got a couple good stun fists here at the end. Um, this one's dead center, which is better. Not point-wise, but uh, as far as like the picture goes. And we got artillery real good there. All right, so that's good for that one. So now I know I can change course. Like that scene with the, the light part, I just need to move the light part out the way. A new discovery. Yeah. Nice work. It's not perfectly centered, so. And not bad though, 2400. This Exeggutor is like a good one. Nice work. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Platinum star on that Exeggutor. The only way to get Exeggutor any better would be if it was lo a Lolan Exeggutor. Okay, Blossom, dead center, and there's another one in the picture with it. Yeah, that's gotta be worthwhile. They didn't seem to respond to the music, which is kind of weird. Oh, that's better Pikachu. We'll take it. So I needed that Pikachu to grab the shovel. Alright, Wingle. The Wingle's really small, so it's, yeah, not many points there, but we got Wingle. Pukamuku, same thing. It's really small, but we got two Pukamukus. So we got something out of it. Machamp. Machamp is balling right here. A new discovery. Great timing. Yeah. Yeah, that Machamp's good. I could have probably got a better Machamp if I did it differently. A new discovery. So the water level's got a lot to explore, apparently. Because I saw, I think those Finneons swimming through the water real fast. So. Okay, I'm guessing I'm not advancing here yet. Close. I'm literally like right freaking there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Alright, so... I need to get more points in the desert. I need to get more points in the water. So, I'll go back to... The thing is, I need more points in general, is the fact, but... I'm trying to think, because I now have the music player, so I'm wondering if certain other areas might be more worth exploring since I now have the music player. Because I know here is that slacking, and now that I have the music player, maybe I can get them up and moving. So now I can get like an actually good picture of slacking. But we're going to go back to the desert for now. Yeah, we're going to check out the desert again, because I... I must have, I definitely missed a couple things. And if I get that four star Skyupi better, that'd be good. Yeah. So we're gonna do another trip in the desert, because that's what. If I get enough points, I'll get the uh, nighttime desert anyway. So. Okay. Good luck. Okay, we got him. I already scanned that, right? Okay. Yeah, but what can I do with that? Wanna come a little closer? Yeah. 
Yay, dude. There we go. So screw that one screw you piece. There we go. Okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, we got the crystal bloom. Like I said, I know there's something in that tornado, so that's why I eventually need to get there. Can I, wait, can I knock you into it? Oh, I, I bumped you. I figured there's a way to bump the mandibuzz in order to... Ah, uh, see, never mind. It doesn't respond. The music doesn't seem to do much. Hey, a female had pot on. Wait, are they taking a nap over there? There's more mandibuzz way back there doing something. I don't know what, but... Oh, I saw that lichen rock. Oh, really? Hey, lichen rock. What if I... Yeah. Oh, okay, I missed you. What up, Lycan Rock? I really like Lycan Rock's design. It, everything about it's nice. Ooh. There we go. If I had the Lumina Orb, I could make that fire blue. I assume. What about the Cacneas? Can I get them going? Oh, wait, what the hell? Did I just stick a Cacnea with an apple? Yeah, I did. I stuck an apple to Cacnea. See, this thing says there's a Pokemon in here, so let's try and lure something out. Want that? Okay, hang on. Let's see. Nope, nothing in the nothing in the den, huh? And the only sand pit here seems to have the pincer. What are those in the sky? Oh, that's mandibuzz. The pad on taking a jog. Are these the pad ons boxing? Oh no, they're just happy hanging out together. Ooh, look at him go, oh, look at him go, majestic. So I know the pincer's in there, but what, what about this sand pit? Aha, I knew there was trap inch, you little son of a bitch. I knew there was trap inches in the goddamn sand pit. He's the antlion Pokemon, of course he's in there. Hey, wake up. I'm hearing sound effects from something. All right. All right, there we go. Sneaky little bastards. <laughs> but now we get more sand desert. Or sand... De yeah. Desert. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I am hungry to take more photos. Alright, so we got a better Scorupi now. This one, this one's a little better because he's actually in the frame. Uh, Heliolisk. What was the last thing we did? Okay, we, we got a two-star this time. We got a better, good two-star. Mandibuzz. We didn't really get anything new with it. Well, this one, but it's like way off in the distance. Um, you can do this one. The Poudon. This one's got the two Poudons sleeping again. This one is these two interacting, which I like better, so. Lycanroc. Let's see, did we get a good one? Not not really. See, it's so tiny. Oh, we got three. Oh, wait, wait we got three Star Torture. There we go. We caught him in mid fire, that's why. So this one, oh, we didn't get a one-star cacnea last time. Okay. And we got a couple of trap inch. There we go. So that one went a little better. <laughs> so like I said, this is probably going to be a longer series just for the simple fact that it takes a while to get to the point where you're like at the end game. Great timing. Yeah, it's not a very much point because of the fact that it's not centered. If he was centered, I would have gotten perfect score. Nice work. This is pretty good. Nice work. 
Yeah, definitely not as. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the other one. Perfect timing. Okay, pad ons. Oh, see, look at that. That's a, so 4,000 or higher is the best score. Lichen Rock, it's new. A new discovery. But. Nice work. Yeah, it's still so far away, you don't really get anything good out of him. There's gotta be a way to change the course in the desert or something. Okay. That one's got an apple stuck to him. I think that should be bonus points. There we go. Trap Inch. Dead center. Yeah, that's good. That's good points. And then that's probably gonna give me enough to go to the next, uh, the nighttime desert. There we go. I'm assuming nighttime desert has the other form of lichen rock. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna tell me he's got more lumina orbs for me and all that good stuff, so. Let me just go ahead and check my albums. How about. I wanna keep this one, this one's funny. And then maybe the hip on hanging out or something. Nah, we're good. Okay, let's return to camp and see what the professor's got to say. I'm assuming he's telling me we got more Lumina Orbs for the desert and that we can go to the desert at night. That's, I'm assuming, what's about to happen. Now, this is the first time in a course. Yeah, okay. Now then. Now. Okay. So I need to find an Illumina Pokemon, and then he can make... Okay, so that's how that works. But we're kind of at near the end of the time frame, so I don't think I have the time to go through one more map. So we're going to basically take a gander of what I've got going so far. The Dedenne didn't hide anywhere. It's right there on the table, dude. <laughs> Calm down, Todd. So, so let's take a look at the map again. So now, okay, so, so far, so these are the Pokemon I can find in this map currently during the day. Pichu, I, oh yeah, I haven't really gotten Pichu and Grookey together. I need to like, try to get that. Okay, this is the park at night. There's Pichu, Grookey. That's because I caught them sleeping next to each other, but there's a way to get them to like hang out during the day. That's like one of the big selling points. Yeah, only the Meganium. But I wonder if I go back to here, will there be more of the Meganium? Like what if I come back here, will Meganium have company? I haven't tried that yet. But uh, we're not gonna worry too much about it at this time. Maybe I'll try that on my own and see what I find here. Because it's like, there's no way the Illumina spot's only good for one Pokemon once ever. You know, I, it's got to have more to it. And see, we get the beach, but what about like a solid ocean level? Like, is there a place that's like mainly ocean? Like over here or something? That'd be kind of cool. Or like a river zone, because we currently only have here in the jungle. But what about like over here? Is there like a river zone or a mountain zone? And then here we have the little park. But what about over here, you know? What about these hills or something? I already know this is the desert. And then we get the volcano at some point. So. Yeah, that's about it there, though. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. We got a bit, uh, we got to do, check out more islands, which we'll get to explore more once I'm back on. Because uh, now we can go see the desert at night and we can go to the desert part two, which means there'll be more stuff to see. So that'll be good. We'll go back to the camp. Thanks. So, yeah, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed the video. We made a little bit of progress today, nothing major. Like this, like I said, this game is kind of a lengthy one. You have to be willing to, you know, work with it. Uh, if you liked it, maybe hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, comments, maybe even some kind of tips that I can that would help me find better Pokemon pictures, you know, leave a comment. Uh, or if you just want to say hello. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed already and would like to, I would greatly appreciate it. 
it would mean a lot to me as well as for the channel as a whole. Oh yeah, speaking of pictures and everything, you know, while I'm still here, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a new logo. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bring that up a bit just so you guys can get a proper look at it. So, uh, a friend of mine, the Toad Conjurer, he's appeared in a few of my videos. Well, not like visually, but you know, we've heard his voice. Made uh, a picture for me. You can consider it some official fan art, but here it is right here. So this is the uh, this is the picture he made, and he said, I can do what I will with it. And as I looked at it, I thought, you know what? That's a really nice picture. And then, after some uh, colors, oh, whoops, it's a little bigger when I after I was done with it, but uh, there we go. Isn't that a nice new little logo? It, I, I feel it's more, it's more lively than my other one, <laughs> if that's the word I could think of. But I figured, you know, it it's nice. It's a good, it's a better change than just adding some stuff to the other thing, you know? I, and I, I decided maybe it's time to give myself a fresh look, so. <laughs> but anywho, uh, so thank you Toad Conjurer for that. It means a lot to me, and, you know, now, now we get to feature it as the face of the channel. <laughs> So, and with that, we'll go ahead and call it a day. So until next time, have a good one.